What's going on everybody? It's Rashad Williams from 212 Exotics and in today's video we're going to be talking about the not so good part of the hobby so stick around make sure you find out what's going on with clutch number four and clutch number five. What is going on everybody again it's Rashad from 212 Exotics and in today's video um, as you guys probably already see the thumbnail uh, we're going to be touching on clutch number four and clutch number five. Um, but first I do want to give a shout out to Bob Vu from Bob's Balls. If you have not seen that video, I'll put it up in one of these corners. I don't really know which one, but this one maybe I don't know. Anyway, it's going to be up in one of these corners. Go check out that video. He showed off some very cool snakes and you can go see what I picked up from him. All right. So let's get into clutch number five first. Um, we're going to get into clutch number five first. Uh, because the dis that's where the disaster started. So um, if you guys seen my Instagram post a while ago, then you would have seen this picture and knew that uh, clutch number five, she completely slugged out. Um, I bought this girl at a really good deal. She is my uh, hypo breeder. She is about 2,000 grams. And when she got here, she wasn't eating. Uh, so in order to try to get her to start, eating i attempted to pair her only paired her once and uh she still didn't eat for me so i let it go i just monitor her she was holding on to weight so she really wasn't losing weight so i, I knew she wasn't sick because she quarantined well that doesn't mean she's not sick but i did have her in quarantine i just watched her really close and it didn't seem like anything was going wrong with her however um she did slug out <laughs> so um, I was kind of devastated at it, but I really did not expect a clutch from her. So, um, it was the up and down for it. I was happy, but I necessarily wasn't, but I will tell you now she is back on food. And every time I open that tub, she flies out of it, trying to get something to eat. So <laughs> I'm definitely glad she's back on food. We're going to try her again, uh, next season. And now that I know, uh, basically when she lays, um, I can know when to start pairing her and uh, making sure she sticks to a schedule and making sure she continues to eat. So uh, that is clutch number five. Um, now, clutch number four. I was really excited for this clutch um, because I said it maybe two or three videos ago that I did not know who the dad was of this clutch. Uh, this was my Super Mojave. And a couple of videos ago, I know that I said that she um, was paired with the Banana Clown and the Banana GHI. So I was expecting whatever babies came out of the egg, if uh, there was no GHI, then I would assume that they were 100% head clown. If there was GHI, then I would assume that the Banana GHI sired the clutch, of course. However, none of that happened. Uh, the first baby that came out, <laughs> was a pastel and I'll show a picture right here um so as you can see um well I'm sorry you really can't tell from this picture because the baby's still in the egg but if you look at it you can tell by all that blushing that it is a pastel Mojave so that led me to know that my pastel clown actually sired this clutch um and that pastel clown is actually no longer here I sold that animal so Knowing that the pastel clown sired that clutch, that lets me know that she retained sperm for months um, because that was the first ever pairing I attempted with her and I didn't think she was going to go, so I stopped pairing. Next season comes around, I start pairing the Banana GHI and the Banana Clown Tour and boom, pastels pop out. So that lets me know that she retained sperm. Uh, that's not necessarily the terrible news. Uh, the terrible news is none of this clutch made it. None of them. Um, every baby out of the egg except one had sharp jaw. So it started out as a six egg clutch, which is what I'll picture here. It started out as a six egg clutch. Uh, during like the first two weeks, one went bad. But I immediately knew that uh, seeing this clutch, uh, something wasn't going to go right with it. None of them had strong veins. None of them seemed like they were going to make it to me within the first week. However, uh, as you see, some did make it 
full term, but uh, did not make it to uh, life. Um, so these are some very graphic images that I am about to show you. And um, if you're squeamish, I'm sorry, but it's all a part of the hobby. So I do want to show it. So um, as you can see right here in this picture, uh, this these two babies uh, had severe shark jaw, but they were probably the best Mojaves that I've seen ever. And so I was pretty bummed about that. Uh, one baby uh, died earlier. The first baby out the egg died. Then these two that I'm showing you, uh, they died. And then and none, of, none of the babies absorbed their yolk. So then I had one more baby come out. It had shark jaw and uh, it twisted the umbilicus basically off. And I don't know if it cut circulation or what, but it died. <laughs> and then uh, this last one, which is the uh, craziest part of the clutch. Here's the baby right here, which is also the baby that's in my thumbnail. As you can see, this baby was born with no eyes, a cleft lip, and a really small head. Um, I thought that honestly, this was the only baby that had the chance of making it because it did live the longest. Um, however, uh, just checking up on it after a couple of days, uh, that baby had also perished. So this clutch has become a total loss. Um, clutch number four and clutch number five were both total losses for me. Um, when that happened, as far as the clutch number four in the incubator being lost, I immediately checked all of my parameters. I checked my incubator temperatures, tub temperatures, and everything to make sure that everything was going as planned. However, uh, it's a part of the hobby. Things happen, and I'm definitely going to attempt to pair this girl again next year. This time, she's going to have a different boyfriend, and she's going to have an exclusive boyfriend. So she's only going to have one male pairing with her. Um, so I'm not going to tell you what that is just yet. You guys have to wait till I start pairing her next year to find out. Um, but thank you guys so much. That is all I have for this video. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, clutch number four or five did not make it. Uh, but I am still satisfied at how my season is going so far. But thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. If you like this video, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe, and make sure you share. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.